Imagine a world where apex predators from the Ice Age once again roam the wild. Today, thanks to cutting-edge science, that world might be closer than we think. This is the story of the dire wolf, and how Colossal Biosciences plans to bring it back. The dire wolf, Canis dirus, ruled North America for nearly 100,000 years. Weighing up to 150 pounds, with jaws stronger than any modern wolf, it hunted massive prey like bison and horses. But around 9,500 years ago, after the last glacial maximum, it vanished. Not just because of climate change, but because its specialized prey disappeared, and competition with smaller more adaptable wolves intensified. The dire wolf was once thought to be just a giant gray wolf, but a 2021 study published in Nature shattered that belief. By sequencing ancient DNA from fossilized remains, scientists found that dire wolves were not true wolves, they were a distinct lineage split from wolves and coyotes nearly 5.7 million years ago. Why resurrect an extinct predator? According to Colossal Biosciences, it's not just about science fiction, it's about restoring ecological balance. Modern ecosystems suffer from predator loss. The reintroduction of wolves to Yellowstone in the 1990s triggered a trophic cascade regenerating forests and rivers. Imagine the dire wolf doing the same, on an even larger scale, in rewilded American landscapes. Colossal's mission, backed by $225 million in funding as of 2024, aims to de-extinct lost species to heal ecosystems, enhance biodiversity, and even bolster climate resilience. But how do you bring back an animal that died out 10,000 years ago? The process isn't cloning, it's precision engineering. Step 1. Genome reconstruction DNA from dire wolf fossils was heavily degraded. Scientists reconstructed fragments, aligning them with modern relatives like gray wolves, coyotes, and African wild dogs. Step 2. CRISPR gene editing. Using CRISPR-Cas9, the genome of a close living relative, likely a wolf or dog, will be edited to match dire wolf genes. This includes genes for bone structure, muscle mass, and even metabolism. Step 3. Embryo development edited cells are used to create embryos via somatic cell nuclear transfer or stem cell techniques. These embryos are implanted into a surrogate mother, possibly a large dog breed. Colossal's techniques combine ancient DNA recovery, pioneered by George Church's lab at Harvard, synthetic biology, advanced reproductive technologies. But it's important to note, the result will be a functional proxy, not a perfect genetic copy. It will look and behave like a dire wolf, but it won't be 100% identical. De-extinction sounds thrilling, but it carries massive implications. Ecological risks. Could engineered dire wolves disrupt modern ecosystems? Will they prey on livestock, creating conflicts with ranchers? Ethical dilemmas. Do we have the right to bring back predators into a changed world? Is it humane to engineer beings without historical habitats? Legal questions? The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service currently lacks frameworks for regulating de-extinct species. New policies will be needed fast. Colossal claims it's preparing safeguards, rewilding plans and controlled reserves. First, genetic kill switches to prevent runaway populations. Still, renowned bodies like the International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN, warn that de-extinction must never replace traditional conservation. Real-world habitats, real-world species, must remain our first priority. The dire wolf's resurrection isn't just about science. It's about our relationship with nature, with time, and with the future. Will we bring back the giants of the Ice Age, or will we realize that some things are better left to history? Only time, and science, will tell.